Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, the Poco F3, also known as the Redmi K40 in China. Now, the reason I sound excited is because you guys are very excited for this particular video. Now, this video will have a part two because today is part one of real life ROM review Lineage OS 18.1 official for this wonderful device. I've been using it since yesterday evening. I've done a full charge. I have all my apps installed. I've used it as a personal device and it's going to be a lot of fun. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, so as you can see, we do have the always on display that I'm using. I have set a wallpaper which I like, but we are talking about the Lineage OS 18.1 nightly build released or built on the 28th of August 2021. It does come with a 5th August or August security patch and it does come with Android 11, of course. Now, as most of you can see, I am using the dark mode. Now, the video preference over here doesn't matter to me because I I'm going to you know show on screen what I have been using so this in a nutshell this video will be a real life review in which we will talk about what I experienced what are the mods and things that I have installed to make this ROM a perfect or almost near perfect daily driver to fix things like ANX camera or the bad camera quality on custom ROMs missing Dolby Atmos and all those things and what are the glitches that I faced. So first things first, I started the day with around 80% battery because I had charged it last night and overnight I did lose around 10 to 15% battery. Now I did have Wi-Fi active and data was active as well and the phone was on silent. I usually sleep for five to six hours, but I did lose around 10 to 15% battery. I, the moment I got up, you know, I went to the battery section and I checked what exactly made this lose that much battery life. But I guess that was the first charge cycle and that was things settling down and stuff. And we do have Accu battery as well. So we will talk about the charging and discharging times. But let me tell you the initial impressions when you talk about Lineage OS as a complete review. Once you have this ROM installed, you have, you know, run the benchmarks, you've done the checks, you have your games installed, you're ready to go out for a full day like going to work or you know spending a day with your phone on a holiday everything is basically there as you can see you will see a ton of applications i also have majisk over here because i am using a few modules at the same time i have the banking applications as well so let me quickly tell you how i use my phone i basically you know use the google setup to install all the applications that i use every single day and i have a habit of charging the phone completely and then Whenever I get the option, I charge it again. But in this particular scenario, I unplugged it in the morning after it did 100% and then I didn't charge it at all. I didn't even connect it to USB. So the battery aspect will be pretty, pretty accurate. We have decent amount of screen on time. So let's talk about things one by one. The first things first, how did I set it up? So let's go to settings over here, okay? Now, when you talk about connected devices, the first thing you do see, that's my motorbike, the KTM Duke 390. That's my motorbike helmet, which has a Bluetooth module in there. And this is my sound bar. So I've been clearly using, uh, you know, Bluetooth for audio and it has been working just fine. I've not had any Bluetooth issues whatsoever. Talking about Wi-Fi data, well, absolutely fine. The best part is compared to MIUI, my switching from, you know, the voice over LTE call to voice over Wi-Fi and voice over Wi-Fi call to voice over LTE, whenever I walk out of the Wi-Fi range has been pretty seamless. It cuts off for half a second or one second maybe, but it, it works just fine for me. I'm using Geo. So I live in a good network area. I did not have any problems. Now I don't use Android Auto much. Apps and notifications. I did have some issues with the notifications of WhatsApp. I basically had to kill the application from the recents menu and then I had to relaunch it and then WhatsApp was working fine here and WhatsApp web was working fine. 
I don't really know what exactly was going on there. But apart from this, I did not have any issues. I did get all the notification calls. I did not miss out any calls. I did not have call drops or voice cutting off or stuff like that. So call quality wise, absolutely fine. Okay, now the next section is the battery life. Now let's have a look over here. Last full charge was 13 hours back. That means it was around 8.30 in the morning I unplugged this. I have around four and a half hours of screen on time. So if I were to completely drain this phone in a day's time, I would still have five hours of screen on time. Now that is with a lot of benchmarks, some light gaming, and some traveling so i think that is decent battery life it is not excellent because i don't expect this phone to give eight to ten hours of screen on time to be very very honest reason being i've not had good battery life on this phone even on stock miui but anyways i'm pretty happy with it right now now that we are talking about the battery life let's also go ahead and talk about accu battery right so if you look over here what does it say screen on 50 percent of the time right it says this is the screen on time as you can see over here i have a game over here i have whatsapp all these applications that i have used it is showing that over here as you can see discharging speed right i listen to some music as well so you know the reason i'm showing accu battery is because as you can see this is the reason i call this a real life rom review is because this is how a normal person would use their phone you know, almost there's so many applications because I was setting it up, I was doing this, I was doing that and stuff like that. So now full battery time estimates might be wrong over here because it says you can have a screen on time of 10 hours unless I'm reading it wrong. So maybe a couple of days more and it should be accurate. Now over here, right? Charge percentage, screen off, as you can see, 37% per hour. So that is not exactly accurate, but I'll tell you this. Well, the charging speed is pretty decent on this particular ROM, right? But it's not fast. Trust me, it is not as fast as it is on MIUI. I think it is giving me between 22 to 25 watts of charging instead of 33. So there's some disappointment there, but considering this is a nightly, you should not have a problem. And if you are someone who takes one hour in the morning to get ready and you have your phone at I don't know 30 40 percent you should be fine because that is also plenty speed and in one one and a half max one hour 40 minutes your phone should top up from 10 percent to 100 percent or something so charging for me is not really really a problem and the phone didn't really heat up a lot that is one positive of this particular rom whenever i did the benchmarks i did all the things it didn't really heat up now battery life aside we talk about this now remember when we say battery life aside the reason you see sort of disappointing battery life is because of this minimum refresh rate is set to 120 so basically i had always on display on for the entire day i had data or wi-fi on i had i had bluetooth connections for most of the day and even after that we've got this battery life and amazing amount of smoothness something that i really really like about this particular rom is the smoothness the speed guys it's amazing trust me it is amazing and from the time i installed this till the time i've been using this for this real life rom review today I've not seen a bug that will stop you from using this as a daily driver, right? Now remember, I did say there is going to be a part two in which I'll talk about the gaming and some continued experience, but that will not stop us from showcasing the features that I liked and the stuff that I like. Now I did say that I like the smoothness. I did mention that the boot speeds are pretty good. I didn't have to reboot the device even once in the entire day. We do have fingerprint scanner over here, but I don't see face unlock. So that is something I would love to see over here, right? So if you go to security, there you go, screen lock, pin password swipe, smart lock. Okay. So you don't have trusted face as well. So, you know, I mean, the device is encrypted, it is working fine. We don't have face unlock, we don't have app lock. I know this is lineage OS, but you know, from a normal person's perspective, this is something you would need to use. I do have my Google accounts added and all the other things, the keyboard, the camera. Right, let's talk about the camera situation. Okay, so what we did over here is we have ANX camera installed. Let me put the expectations very, very clear there. 
wide angle works the 2x lens works portrait mode works video in 1080p 60 fps works right i've not tried the pro mode and night mode doesn't work okay now vlog mode works just fine so more or less the camera for me you know is working fine the pixel binning feature is not working so you might have some issues with very very grainy or very slightly grainy pictures when you zoom in a lot to be very very honest but all in all the camera for me anx camera which is a magisk module works just fine now that brings us to the mods that i have installed all right so this is magisk that i have i do have magisk hide props config installed right system less hosts uh fps unlocker to get 90 fps in some games we do have the razer phone 2 dolby atmos working like a boss and we have anx camera now i did have some issue with the ringtone you know distorting the speaker i might think you know i think it might be the ringtone not exactly the dolby module but yeah the dolby module does make a heap of a difference to the sound experience of these dual stereo speakers so i kept it on there and it has been working just fine for me since then so you have the mods and because i have majes hide enabled and i have hidden the majes app all my applications like you know all my banking applications you do see i'm from india so we do have google pay works absolutely fine hdfc bank net banking works absolutely okay things like my jio and uh, i don't know maybe phone pay everything has been working fine i've been doing my financial transactions for the entire day working just okay why do i nail one i did not have an issue but i didn't even test uh, netflix or prime video so maybe in part 2 of this video i will go ahead and share that but all in all as far as the first day with lineage os and all the additions installed is concerned it's amazing and to give you a little more perspective i did use the official method recommended by lineage team using the lineage os recovery and the adb sideload method to flash it so that does format your data to f2fs but i have been amazed by how smooth how beautifully a phone can perform if you give it the right operating system just look at this i mean open any application over here there you go it's still in memory let's see here still in memory the channel still in memory so you know basically this is amazing amazing stuff the rom is running absolutely okay i'm pretty sure some of you might have tried it by now you might have experienced a bug which you don't like do mention it in the comment section so that when i make part 2 of this video which will come out tomorrow or day after because i am going to continue using this rom in fact i'm going to game on it and i'm going to make a gaming review and a final you know thought which is going to be part 2 of the real life rom review So you do have the opportunity of asking me questions and let me show you the benchmarks before I actually go ahead and end this video. So first things first let's have a look at Geekbench 967 to 968. Pretty strong score there. You don't have thermal profiles, you don't have game mode. But again, this is linear joys, it is supposed to be bare bones, right? And to to did disappoint me a little bit and it almost feels like a meme that every time you are an MI UI and to to will score consistently and yeah. this is not the score that i expect from this device and i didn't even have a second run but there was something wrong with the antutu run of course let's go ahead and have a look at the cpu throttle test right just like antutu benchmark the cpu throttle test also had some issues but the average performance was 220000 which is sort of not exactly the best performance but it's there but i'll tell you this while gaming i've not had any major issues and we will see that in the second part of this particular video but all in all the benchmark numbers on geekbench at least sound great to me and the thermal performance not so great but again this doesn't have a thermal profile option this doesn't have game mode which has been proven or i have seen that to make a lot of difference the fingerprint scanner works like a charm charging works like a charm always on display some basic amount of customization well you can definitely go ahead and use that i'm not really a person who customizes their device a lot but for example have a look at this there you go that's i think the android 12 styled clock if i'm not wrong so calling to gaming to banking apps to watching content online battery life charging 
real life ROM review Lineage OS 18.1 for the Mi 11X gets a big thumbs up from me. I expect a lot of improvements and let me know in the comment section what I didn't cover so that when I make episode 2, I will have it ready for you guys. That's it for now. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.